In this tutorial, we'll take a look at the self-assessment of assignments. Self-assessment encourages independent learning as it allows students to reflect on their own work. Let's see how the teacher, John Everts, uses this function. He wants his students to write a book report, so he adds an assignment to his plan. He adds two documents to the assignment, a PDF with a list of books and a file for answers. With one click, he can create a copy for each student in his course. In the assignment settings, he selects Require Self-Assessment. The student will always have a text field to write in, and in addition, the teacher can add rubrics or an assessment scale. John chooses to add his school's self-assessment scale. He can also choose whether or not to show the self-assessment in the assessment record. He clicks Create Assignment to make the assignment visible to his students. Kevin is one of John's students. He opens the assignment from the course tasks list and clicks Answer Assignment to begin working on the book report. The answer file opens in a new tab. When Kevin's done writing, he closes the tab. Then he returns to the assignment and submits his work. He can assess his work. In this case, he uses the self-assessment scale and a text field. When his teacher John logs in, he'll see that he has one follow-up task on his English course card. He clicks on the task, Book Report. Kevin is the only one who submitted his assignment. John can open the file by clicking here and he can see Kevin's self-assessment by clicking the View button on the right.